be scared. Everyone, it's me, showing you today. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be trying out new three sp spooky games that I just found on this video. And the first up we have here, this one is a fairly recent one. This one is called Creature Packets. Basically, you learn how to cook up some recipes with small critters in this thing. Like, ew, what, who would even do that such a thing? But apparently that's what this game is about, really. And as you see here, it's a dancing uh, snail bag right now. Look at it go. It's so poppin' right there. <laughs> So, I picked out these three random games for me to try out for this video, and let's see how they turned out. And first off, we got this one here. So, without further ado, let's see what Creature Packets has store for us for today. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Alright then. Wow, this looks... something. Oh, hello. Hi! My name doesn't matter. Oh, okay, doesn't matter. I am your boss, and I will be responsible for you. Okay then. Your job is to fulfill orders by cooking different tiny creatures. I hope you can uh, figure out the equipment. It's all pretty simple. And please don't litter. There is a trash bin here for that. Well, good luck to you, and we'll move on to your first order. Alright, order is Microworm, uh, Skilligora... What? Wait, what's that? The, the, what's that supposed to be? Wait, this the... Oh god, the thing moves. Alright, so what is this? Oh, okay, so we got here, like, a mixture? Like, if you press Worm, Worm, Cricket, 2, Caterpillar? Uh, okay, that's a bit strange. Alright, so tutorial. Alright, so basically, it shows us as to how things do. And, uh, that one, if you mix in Beetle Beetle with Frog, that creates a scorpion. What kind of laboratory segment is this? There's like a patch of, like, things here. And that creates a frog. How does that even work? Uh, and that creates a bat? What? Um, and this one creates that. This is some freaking science laboratory sucks right now. Oh, that one is a that. Okay, so we need to mix in worms. That's what we have to do. We need microworm. What's a microworm? So we already have beetle, and that one is on the list. Uh, okay, so I need to find ephid. Uh, that's a crab. That's a butterfly. Alright, goose? What's the fudge? Uh, what is this one? Tarantula. Okay, I don't really see anything. Uh, that's a snail. Well, this is just very strange stuff here. Okay, so I'm guessing here... What was that? Oh, I just had something. Alright, so I'm guessing I just enter in what I need. Ah, okay. So that's a microworm right there. Alright, the microworm, we need one of those. Um, okay, so we definitely need to put it in... Uh, what, what, how does this work? I don't know what this is. Alright, so you put the microwave inside the ecosystem. I'm guessing? Oh, I see. Okay, so I see what this is all about. So we need two worms for that matter. And the blender is basically for us to mix in the thingamajig right there. I see what we got here. Alright, so we need two of those. So I will grab one and I'll put it in the blender right there. And we'll put this one in the blender as well to create this piece. Alright. Oh, congratulations! We've researched a new recipe. New recipes are automatically added to the vending machine. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Okay, so if you create new recipes, then that means you do that. Okay, I see. That's cool right there. So, oh, it automatically comes to here. So whenever you create a recipe, then you can make that. All right, so since we have the script gear, I don't know what that is, but let's put that in here. But the last one we need is in Fide. Effade, effade. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, this one's just moving around. So where do I need to find an effade? 
I can't even see around in this place. So where's an F aid? F aid. That's a caterpillar. Oh, what's this? Aha! So we definitely need to mix those things together. Okay, I see. So we need to mix in those. So the more you create, the more you basically uh, things get added in. All right, we need 11, and that'll be it right there. So we created a new animal each time. So that's pretty cool right there. Cryptic, but it's something. All right, so now we have this one, and it's right there. See? Yeah, this is easy. All right, and we put that right there, and that's it. So we got everything under control here and shipped it off. Yep. Great. Also, please note that when a new Territorium is delivered, extra creatures will appear there. Uh, okay. If they are not in the order, just crush them. And we move on to the next order. Uh, okay. Alright, so we need one, one F8. Okay, that's definitely what we need right there. Oh, that's definitely... Okay, so that's definitely not on the thing magic right there. So wait, how do you crush them? Uh, is there like a way to like crush these thing majigs right there? Like, I don't think they're supposed to be. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, did you even see them shake when I had moved over to them? They were like scared of me. Like, like, what are you doing? Don't come any closer. Like that. Like, they were just horrified of me. It should be great. It should be fantastic. So we have made a caterpillar. Yep, and we need two of those, so that is a good thing that we've learned the basics of that. And we will put in 13, and it'll be great. And we'll put another one in here. Yeah, this is easy stuff right there. But now we definitely need a snail. So where is the snail at? The snail. The snail. That's a tarantula. The sna okay, the snail. Alright, so we definitely need worm, caterpillar, and ethid. Yep, that's what we all, that's what we need. Alright. Worm. This. And, of course, third. Put that one right there. I am a science genius. And press it up there. Easy peasy, limited squeezy. And we create us a snail. Nice. Alright, so let's take a look around in this matter of choice right there. Okay, wait. Oh, I don't... Oh, we definitely need... Oh, yeah, two. Two, of course. Two. And we do need to deliver another snail in there so that it can transport over here. Yep, just gotta make sure that it's all right. Uh, okay. One ethid, yep, and two caterpillars and two snails. Alright, that's it. Alright, off you go, little guys. Enjoy your freedom. Alright. Great job! Next order, now! Alright, so what's my next order? Two snails and three frogs. Okie dokie. Alright, so we definitely don't need this, we don't need that, we don't need this. Oh my god, they, they were literally shaking when I came- when I put- uh, got my cursor near them. Like, they were afraid of me. Like, that one detail, it, it, it just kinda it concerns me a bit. Alright, so that's one down. And that is two down, and we need to create a frog. I still don't know as to how that's even possible for, you know, a bunch of bugs to create a frog. So we need this thing, and we need a caterpillar and a snail to do that such a thing. And do this one right there, and voila! And we have created the frog. So we only have six more left. I wonder what these could be. But, let's put it in here, and we definitely need two more Fuagos to do this thing magic right there. I wonder what happens if you even mess up. Like, can you even mess up in the game? Alright, so that is basically all of them inside. Yep, it looks great, and now ship them off! Bye-bye! Yep, that's all done right there. Great job! Next order now! Alright, what's my next order? One snail, one frog, one beetle, one butterfly, and one bat. Oh boy, we got more things to go. Okay, alright. Boom, 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 boom. You're not needed in the list. Sorry, I, I'm sorry if I have to kill you, but that's what we gotta do. Okay, so we need to create a beetle, a butterfly, and a bat. <sighs> okay. 
more ingredients to do. All right, it's so a caterpillar that in this needs to be recommended in here. Okie dokie. Wait, one more time. Yep. Just gotta double check in this matter. All right, 11, 12, and uh, third. No, 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 clear that. Oh, I almost messed up there. How could I messed up on that part? Yep, and we need to create a butterfly. Ugh, you can even hear that noise, the gargling noise? That is just so creepy. And we created a butterfly! Yay! Oh, that's 17. I thought that would be that would be that one. Alright, well, let's put that in there since this is our first experiment done. And we definitely need a beetle. So let's find a beetle. Yeah, that's what we already did before. Uh, oh yeah, bats, uh, we definitely need a snail, frog, and a butterfly for that matter. Luckily, we have a butterfly already. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Alright, 14, 15, and apparently 17. Yep, those should be good. Let's put the, put the blood and guts in there so that we can create a new breed of animal for us to ship to. And, Boom. Ooh, purple. All right, here you go. Off you go. And last but not least, we need beetle. The beetles to complete our collection. And luckily, it's right there. We need two of those and one of those. Got it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right. Boom. Boom. On the boom. And... That's our last one of the list right there, and we can go back over to create more of our ingredients. So yeah, that's all there is, and boom! Look at that, look at how happy they are. They're new cocoons, they're so happy together. I don't think you're supposed to put in mixed animals in there. Wouldn't they just attack or eat each other? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, so now we need snail and frog, and that's it. Snail and frog. That's all. Yep, that's it. And then we'll put them right here. And that should be it, right? Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep, that's all of them right in here. So, yep, they're all here. Oh my god, they're all shaking. Alright, let me see. Uh, yep, it looks great. And now they can go on. Alright then. Great job! Our next order now. Alright, so what is our next order? So we need a but two butterflies, one bat, one scorpion, and two crabs. Boy, I wonder how long this will go, I guess, until everything is all cleared up here. So we need two butterflies. Let's do two butterflies first. Um, let's see, uh, one bat, of course. Uh, one bat is definitely 18. Yep, good stuff right there. And all right, and now it's time to Frankenstein create. So we need to find a scorpion. Or we can find a crab. So we, okay, yeah, we definitely need to do scorpion first. So where can I find a scorpion? That's a tarantula, not a tarantula person here. Ah, uh, where is it? Wait, no, that's not it. No, that's a frog. That's a snail. This is probably going to be hard to find a scorpion because I don't remember where the scorpion is. Oh, is that a scorpion? Yep, that's scorpion right there. So we need one frog and two beetles. Frankenstein, 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 all this stuff. All right, perfect. And that completes scorpion right there. Another recipe done. So we definitely need one scorpion for this one here. So that's good right there. And the other one we have missing here is a crab. Although, we only have about a few more stuffs left, so we're almost done with the with the filling up the thing with jigs right there. So, we definitely need frogs and two scorpions. Got you, got you. And all done. So, let's put them all in the blender. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Alright, and that completes the crab infestation. And now it is time we put in 20 and complete the order. Yep, so I think I got every single one of them. Ooh, you see that? Oh, there's different colors of butterfly here. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got two crabs, uh, one uh, beetle, or wait, no, no, a scorpion, 
Uh, yeah, I think that's every single one of them. And they can be shipped off to the delivery service. Yeah, bye-bye. Alright then. Okay, and last order for today. Alright, we got the last order, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do this. Alright, one butterfly, one bat, one scorpion, one crab, and two tarantulas. Okay, so that's all right there. One butterfly, one... Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay, okay. And that's one down. Okay. Alright, gotta make sure that that is every single one of them. Yep, I think that is all there is right there. 18, 19, 20, already down, and now we need to create two tarantulas. That's our last ingredient of this establishment. So we need one bat, one scorpion, one crab. Got you. Alright, 18, 19, and 20. Ugh, I keep doing that. What the, why do I keep doing that? All right, put them in the blender, 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 and kaboom. And that's it. The only one that's basically full and black. Alright, and now we go to 21. And that will be it right there. That's our list right there. So yeah, everything is good. I believe everything is perfection now. Yep, see, two tarantulas, one crab, one scorpion, one bat, and one butterfly. Okay, I think that's it, and adios! Bye-bye! Alright, I think we're done, right? The working day is over, so you can go out the door. Oh, okay then. Just like that, really? After the day's work has, was done, you decide not to return to that strange shop. It was hard for you to look at the creatures passing on the, on the streets. You saw them as a food packet that, that needed to be heated in the microwave. Oh. Oh. So we basically quit like that? Oh, well. I guess that was best because it was a very strange experience where we basically mixed a bunch of creatures with different powders and stuff here, so uh, yeah. Alright, so that was us playing Creature Packets, a really weird uh, science game where you basically, well, mix a bunch of creatures in to create new creatures and ship them off to God knows where. I thought this was like a recipe game. I mean, it kind of is. I thought it was about cooking, but no, it was just basically about breeding and, well, you know, making animals and stuff here. But yeah, it's a pretty weird game, but a pretty interesting, interesting one to be exact, though. I really enjoyed my time on this one. So, uh, yeah, that is one game down, and we'll move on to the next game we go. Alright, so the next game we have here, this one is called Oct14. Uh, it is another recent game that just came out on Steam, and it's an RPG um, independent game about you playing as a student who goes to school, and there's some interesting stuff that just happened. I don't know much to... I don't know too much about this one, but all I know is that it's a new one, like the other one that we just played earlier. So let's see what this one's all about. Three, two, one, let's go. Alright then. Now's your chance to bail. Oh, my chance to bail? Oh, okay then. Oh wow, so far this is actually looks pretty nice. I do actually like how the game looks and all. Wait. Wait, is there not a way to save it? I guess there's not a way to save it. I, I mean, how many endings does this have? Not your locker. Not your business. Uh, where is my locker? Is it the one right here? Oh. What? That's not how that day went. Huh? What do you mean? What? What the hell? Bro, excuse me? Okay, so we're back over here. Now, we're back to the game again. I don't really know exactly as to what happened. So, I'm guessing I did something wrong and it just puts me back here. It's locked. So, I'm not sure as to what my main point is. Like, I guess I'm trying to bail out of school. Best not to interrupt. Uh, can I go over here? It's some electrical box thing. Probably does electricity stuff. Obviously it does. The throne of the gods. The throne of the gods, okay. Uh. Um, where am I? Am I in the storage room and there's some red paint over there? It's an old worn rag laying on the ground. Take it. 
the shore, I guess? You got the crusty rag. And what do I use that for? Can I paint the walls or something? It's full of red paint. Looks like it's been sitting here for a while. Uh, it's just paint. Okay, so I don't really know exactly as to what I'm doing. Am I just, like, trying to sabotage my breakout or something? A lonely sitter. Well, there's this one right there. You wet the rug. Okay, I did. And what's this? A, you're a... It's currently written, written out on what looks to be black permanent Sharpie. Well, that's rude. You successfully wiped down uh, the locker. Wait, is that supposed to be mine? Be Bev's locker. Oh, I hope that's not mine because whoever wrote that is a total rude person. And I'm guessing we just go out here, go to the parking lot. All right. All right then. So uh, I'm out of the school already. And now what? <gasps> oh, who is this? There's someone crying over there. Beth? Oh, that's Beth. Oh, so are we just going, are we looking for the kid probably in the story? Like someone wrote something on the locker and he's sad about it. Like what's, what's wrong with her? I guess we're just going to find out and see. Yeah, so far so good. The game actually looks really nice. I really like how the style looks and uh, yeah, it's very colorful and stuff, but I really don't know exactly as to what's happening. I guess we're just trying to comfort a student that's probably being bullied, maybe. This is a probably PSA, maybe. Hello. Are you okay? Are you doing okay? Hey, what are you doing all the way out here? Yeah, what are you doing? Are you okay? Dude, are you okay? You've been acting all weird since what happened last month. Don't think I haven't noticed. Oh, last month? I care about you a lot, you know. So, you can tell me anything. I don't think Bev wants to talk. I can't do it. Uh, huh? What do you mean? I said... Oh! I can't do it! What the, what the hell was that all about? Oh. I'm sorry. For screaming. No, but if it, Oh, is it? Is it really just fine? Oh, what? I... Was it fine when you kissed me without asking how I felt first? Wait, what? We... We kissed this person? Why? Was it fine... When you got su Was it fine when you got me suspended? Not even one week into September? And was it fine when you put our entire relationship up on your stupid website? But I didn't- Didn't what? Oh, I think we did something bad to Beth right there. Wait, are you bleeding? You know, she- Ever since I met you- I felt like there's been this burden weighing on my neck. Like, this expectation to prove to you that I'm definitely not okay. And sane. And... And what? It's like the moment you just... Beth, oh please. I honestly don't even want... I just want to try and understand what you're going through, butthead. <gasps> Oh, you shouldn't have said the A word. Why? So you could face me some freaking adversity for once in your life? Right. Because then you probably. Oh. What was. What is wrong with you? I don't know. What is wrong with me, G? Could you tell me that? Because clearly you think you know all about it and. Oh. The lines keep skipping along. <gasps> Beth! Wait, she just got knocked over! Oh my god! I need to get you to the hospital! What is happening? I'm so confused! Huh? What is... Excuse me? A knife? <gasps> oh, was she harming herself? What? You're not taking me in- Whoa! whoa! What the fudge?! Eff! Stop! What is she doing?! No! You ruined everything for me! Are you serious? Is that a serious question? 
Or are you just that dumb? You're not even making a sense! Oh! Shut up! All sense left my life the moment I met you! You know that's not true! You're acting like the past few months didn't even happen! Is that really it? A couple slip ups and everything prior to that means nothing? Slip ups? Slip ups? Oh! Your definition of a slip up is freaking tragic! You're so damn darting towards me all the time! You don't even realize the damage you've done! Oh my god. Do you know how much your silly little sight has cost me? What bridges it's burned? Oh, yeah, the internet could have- Yeah, it probably could have damaged her a lot, but bro, she's literally damaging me. She's attacking me. Everyone has seen it, she. Everyone. If I had never entitled it. If you had never entered my life, none of this would have happened. Oh. So because it was our fault that we did this to her, probably. Sorry. Yeah, sorry is not going to probably cut this. You better be- OH! I should have been dead by now! Or yet! I saw a freaking miracle! You managed to mess it up too! I'm- Oh my gosh! You helped enough! What is happening? Stop! Maybe this is one thing you could do right. What? What? Beth! Uh oh. Please! Please! What? <gasps> Back? Beth! <gasps> oh, snap! Bro, we killed her! What happened? Uh, uh, uh. We just we just bloody killed her, and now she's laying in the street. Beth. <gasps> she's still moving. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, by pushing her away like that, I'm sure you're definitely sorry. And now look at what you've done. What the heck? I just wanted to feel- okay. Whoa! Whoa! And she's dead by the truck! It's alright, Chi. What? What? What's- who's there? You'll be just fine. What is going on? This game is so weird, but so tragic at the same time. Oh, and there's a school right there. Excuse me? Uh... <gasps> He's painting over to there. What is that? Isn't that the, the, the thing we just got earlier? Uh, what the heck just happened? Well, that was, uh, strange. So, uh, yeah, I guess that was us trying out Oct 14. A pretty strange, but a also somewhat of a tragic thing, Majig, right there, where we played as a girl who's confronting our friend because we did something to her that basically ruined her school life. And I guess explains as to what had happened to our friend afterwards. Uh, basically, we did some bad things and we got her killed and all. So, uh, yeah, that's something I did not expect, but a really good game. I really did enjoy the decency of how the, this, this short game brings us to. Like, giving you some flashbacks of the old horror RPG style aesthetic games that we usually play a lot of times before. So, yeah, I'm generally surprised with this one, and, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that one right there, and I guess we go up to the last game of this list here. 8.55. Confirmed first sighting of creatures emerging from the anomaly. Uh oh. 9 of 44. A state of emergency is declared. Lockdown is in effect. Oh. What's going on? What is happening? <gasps> oh boy. Ooh. Oh, okay. So we're already starting this off already. Well, I didn't expect there to actually be 3D buildings. <gasps> and 2D characters! Rock Ioni. Ooh, now this looks cool right there. 
Okay, and so the last game we have here on this list, this one is called Rockaloni. This is basically a short 2D a brawler game where you basically play as Ioni games and where you basically play as Ioni girls and you're basically stopping a cause that's destroying the whole city and it's up to you to stop it. So this looks really cool. I just recently found this like a few months ago and I wanted to try this out for this video. So without further ado, uh, let us see what Rockaloni has to for us for today. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright then, well, let's get right to it here. Wow, the game definitely looks pretty cool right there. Ooh, I like the texturings and stuff here. Like, look at everything. All citizens must advise to stay indoors. Oh boy, yeah, sure. But I'm here to go and rough some monsters up here. So my name is Q right there. That's a pretty neat name right there. Oh, hello there. Stop right there! This area is under lockdown! Well, what do you think I'm here for? Sir, there's a- Oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Yushioni. Out of the way, insects. Oh, brother. <gasps> Monster! Kill it! Oh, okay, yeah, basically, we just gotta do it like that. Ooh, ooh, okay, that does a lot of damage right there. All right, I'm just learning the techniques and whatnot here, so if you don't mind me, just just doing what I'm meant to do, really, what's in my blood and whatever. Like, look at me go. Oh, brother, oh, brother, oh, brother, oh, brother, oh, brother. Like, okay, okay, that does it. All right, come on. All right, come on. Oh my god, I can't even touch him? That's- that's a little baloney. Alright, well, I still got it. Come on, get him. Ooh, do you even also hear this jam right there? I do like how the music work- the work is in this game right there. I still gotta kill him, though. Still gotta kill him. Oh! Well, he's already dead now, so yep or do Take that sucker! Take that sucker! Oh! Well, that was a weird cut up right there. Alright, so now we're in a, uh, we're in a train. So what on earth do we do on here exactly? For that, I do not know, but I guess we're about to find out in the sea. Oh. Oh, there's a spinny thing right there. Hello? What's up? Can I, can I destroy you? Oh, whoa. Oh. Wait, do we actually have to do that? Oh, yeah, okay. So we gotta to avoid him. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I, I did. Alright, wait, hold on. Alright, come on, come on. Beat him, beat him. I guess we just do it like that. I see. I see, I see. Alright, come on. Come on, beat him, 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 beat him. Come on, come on. Rough him up. Rough him up. Okay, that was a little bit slow as to what we did right there. Uh-oh. Well, who's this? Well, you brought your partner with you? What the fudge? That's cheating! Oh. Uh, Kuchi and Zenki. Oh, brother. So basically, there's a double on one, on one over. Oh, brother. That is not good, man. Alright, come on. I still have to punch every single one of you punks. Uh, come on. Oh, I can still actually attack. I can attack both of them. Uh, oh my gosh, there's like so many of them. And they just keep coming in. I don't know as to how much more I can take it. Oh. Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Oh! Oh no. They just merged together. Oh, there's the music. I was wondering as to why everything was so silent. Oh boy, what's going to happen here? Oh, okay. It's just. This is the same as the blue attacks here, so I can still hit him, I guess. Uh, okay. What's hap what happens now? Oh, they have combining, like, freaking, you know, like, freaking, they can still do their attacks at the same time. Oh, well, that's really something else. Alright, come on. Oh, brother. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. 
Ah, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Just gotta hit him like a few times already. Hit him like a few times, hit him like a few times, hit him like a few times. Bro, ah, jeez. Okay, I can't get this one right. Alright, just, just keep calm here. Everything will be fine. Just relax. We are gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Just gotta hit, just gotta kill him just only about a few more times is all we gotta do. Memorize all the moves that they do. Just memorize them all. That's what we are here for, man. Okay, why, why did I think that's such a good idea, man? That all this just does is wastes our time here. Alright, oh, okay, that does damage. Alright, I was, tr I was hoping that would do that. With, uh, at least that's good enough right there. Alright, so we still need to kill him right here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just keep going. Alright, go. Alright, come on. Come on. And done! That is right! We are done with you, Buster. Yep, alright, and that's good right there. And now we're transported into the sewer. The sewers. Yeah, so far this game is pretty cool. I really like the aesthetics of it. Like, everything is all 3D while our characters are pixelated. Pretty neat stuff right there. So, now who are we gonna face in this matter? Well, this place is humongous. Like, I didn't even think the sewers were gonna be this humongous. Uh-oh. Hello? <gasps> oh, God, what is this? What? The, where did you come from here? Did you just come out here from freaking Mega Man or something? Like, or wherever you came from? The freaking Metroid? Oh, brother, how we how are we supposed to avoid all this? Okay, 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 OJ. Okay. Well, what do we do here? Oh, the head. Okay, we can hit him with your head right there. All right, I see, I see. Oh God, I have to avoid all the beams right there. All right, go. Oh, okay, I can still do that, but I'm really slow. Like, why am I so slow in this matter? Like, I don't understand why I'm so slow. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Avoid all the stuff here. Use my special abilities if I need to. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Okay, you're almost done. You're almost down. You're almost down. You're almost down. You're almost down. Come to me. Come to me, my pretty. You are going to be dead at any moment now. Just die, please. Just get yourself killed, man, before I die. Thanks for playing! Developed by Ruin13. Oh, and that was it! Wow. What a short experience, but a pretty fun experience indeed, man. Like, holy moly, man. So, is there anything else after this? Yeah, so... Oh, okay, um... I can't seem to do anything, so I'm guessing that's really... That's really it right there. Alright, so that was us trying out Rock Oni, a really cool uh, combat game where you basically play as an Oni girl and you're just defeating some monsters and all that. It was a lot shorter than I thought, but I really had a great time with this one here. I really did enjoy as to how the game looks and uh, the way that how the game... The game so far is a little bit complicated because I was using a keyboard and all that, but it was still really fun. I really did enjoy that. So yeah, bravo. Bravo to the creators who made this game. So that is definitely going to have to be it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all enjoy yet another three random game video. Make sure you go subscribe to my channel. Give me all likes, subscribe to anything. I'm sure else and me. And hopefully you're looking forward for new videos in the future. So we're going out. And bye guys. Yeah, bye.